triptans work wonderfully in treating patients with acute migraine. But there are some warnings that go along with the triptans relating to patients with cardiovascular disease. Is there evidence that these are harmful? Are they, are they safe to use in patients? And what sort of screening, if any, do I have to do in these patients? The American Headache Society convened a multidisciplinary expert panel who reviewed all of the evidence on triptans and cardiovascular safety. And basically, these, these medications are very safe. The risk of a myocardial event in a patient who has been exposed to a triptan is less than one in a million. And that's been borne out in the hundreds of thousands of patients who have been exposed to these drugs over the past 15 years in clinical trials. However, because of the potential for these drugs to bind to receptors on the coronary arteries, they, there is an absolute contraindication to using them in patients with established symptomatic coronary artery disease and in patients with coronary vasospasm. Now, the difficulty often comes up in clinical practice as to what to do with the 50-year-old man who's obese, has a family history of hypertension, he himself has had treated hypertension and maybe hypercholesterolemia. What to do with that particular patient? And so, as you know, in clinical practice, when there is no evidence, you use your own clinical judgment. In the particular example that I just mentioned, it depends on my level of comfort, but if I thought that that patient was at high risk of cardiovascular disease, I would do, probably do uh, a non-invasive functional myocardial assessment. And if that were normal, I would then use a triptan in that, that individual. Liz, how would you approach that patient? I think it's important before we take a look at the specifics of that situation to remember that in the majority of patients we see who have migraine, um, there's really very limited reason to be concerned about using triptans. The prevalence of migraine, of course, is highest in young and middle-aged women who have few, if any, cardiovascular risk factors. And I would add that in those patients, uh, in that group of patients who use triptans, if they have chest pain or other minor tolerability issues that occur during triptan use, those are tolerability concerns only and don't necessarily so need the, to prompt a cardiovascular evaluation. So, the chest, so if I'm hearing you right, triptans are extraordinarily safe. They're contraindicated in patients who've had previous uh, documented heart attacks, bypass, stents, etc. For the person who has a high, high pretest probability but no symptoms, some of you may get a functional assessment to clarify the issue prior to starting a trip down.